Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the last type of variation, which is the combined variation. In combined variation, this is a kind of variation that involves both direct and inverse variation. So thus, if you have y varies directly as x and inversely as w, that can be written as y is equal to kx all over w, wherein k is the constant of variation. Now, let's have these problems. Find the constant of variation of the following. P varies directly as Q and the square of R, and inversely as S. And P is equal to 14, Q is equal to 7, R is equal to 2, and S is equal to 4. We're going to find the constant of variation. So let us write first the equation of variation. P varies directly as Q. So P varies directly as Q and the square of R. So R squared. And inversely, and inversely as S. So S. And we have the following values. So we're going to find K. P is 14. Substitute. Q is 7. R is 2, uh, R is 2, so change R to 2, then copy K, over S is 4. Okay. To remove the fraction, we can multiply the equation by 4. So multiplying by 4, this will be cancelled out. Now we have 4 times 14. 16 carry 1, so 56. So 56 is equal to 7 times 2 square, that is 4, is equal to k. 2 square, that is 4, then copy 7. Now we have 56 is equal to 7 times 4, 7, 14, 21, 28. So 28k. To find k, of course, we need to divide by 28. So our k now is 56 divided by 28, that is 2. So that will be the constant of variation. Next, if x varies directly as the square of y and inversely as z, and x is equal to 12 when y is equal to 3 and z is equal to 6. We need to find the constant of variation. So let us write the equation of variation. x varies directly as the square of y and inversely as z. Okay. x is equal to 12, so change x to 12. And y is equal to 3, so 3 squared Copy K all over, Z is 6. Now cross multiply, 12 times 6, that is 72, is equal to 3 square, that is 9K. Divide by 9, again let us repeat, 6 times 12, 72, is equal to 3 square, 9. To find K, divide by 9, now 72 divided by 9, so 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 53, 72. K now is equal to K. So that's on how to find the equation and the constant of the variation. Next examples. And now let's have the following examples. W varies directly as X and Y and inversely as v squared. And w is equal to 1,200 when x is equal to 4, y is equal to 9, and v is equal to 6. Find w when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 18, and v is equal to 9. 
So of course, our first step, find the equation of our formation. W varies directly as x and y and inversely as v squared. Okay, this is now our equation. We're going to find first the constant of variation. So W is 1200, so change, substitute, when x is equal to 4, so x is equal to 4, y is equal to 9, so copy k over v squared, so 6 squared. Now we have 1200 is equal to 4 times 9, that is 918, 36. So 36k over 6 squared, 6 times 6, 36. So 36 divided by 36, that is 1. So k is equal to 1200. Now find W when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 18, and v is equal to 9. So W is equal to k is 1200. Our x is 3. Our y is 18. Over our v is 9. So 9 raised to 2. 9 raised to 2 is 9 times 9, or simply 9 times 9. Again, 9 squared, simply 9 times 9. Now, use cancellation method. So 9 and 18, so 18 will become 2. 9 and 3, so 1 and 9 will become 3. 3, 6, 9. That's why 3. Now we have 12 or 1,203. So this will become 400 and 3 will become 1. So for our answer, 400 times 1, 400 times 2, 800. W is 800. Next, number 2. If R varies directly as S, and inversely as the square of U, and R is equal to 2 when S is equal to 18, and U is equal to 2, find R when U is equal to 3 and S is equal to 27. Find the equation of variation. R varies directly as S and inversely as the square of U. And R is 2, so R is 2 is equal to our S is 18, copy K over U, our U is, change that to 2, then square. Now we have 2 is equal to 18 over, 18K over 4. Now cross multiply, so 8 is equal to 18K. Divide by 18. So reduce in lowest term. Divisible by 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8. 4 over 9. So our k is 4 over 9. Find r when u is equal to 3 and s is equal to 27. So r is equal to our k is. 4 over 9, our S is 27 over 3 squared. R is equal to, simplify the numerator. So we have cancel, cancel, 9, 18, 27, 27 will become 3, and 9 will become 1. So 4 times 3, we have 12 over 3 squared, 3 times 3, 9. Divisible by 3. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12. 
over 369. So the value of R is 4 over 3. So we are now done in our combined formation. See you in our next topic, Introduction to Radicals and the Loads of Exponents. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo T.